hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is hannah renee and it is so nice to meet you this is young womanhood 101 where we share about healthy lifestyle self-care homemaking and all of that good stuff so if you like that type of content make sure to subscribe today we are doing my july reset routine i'm filming this on fourth of july because july just snuck up on me and i totally forgot that it was coming so we're doing this a little late but without further ado let's just jump right on into this video if you've watched any of my reset routines in the past this one is going to look a little different now that we have a puppy that naps downstairs i'm going to be filming most of this upstairs so that i don't wake him up with my talking but we are going to first reflect on june so this was my old planner from Target. June was just the craziest month. Obviously, we bought our car. We got a 2021 Toyota RAV4. This has been something we've been saving up for for maybe nine months. So we've been researching, we've been saving. This was something that we have been wanting to do for a while. So we got that. I made a video about it. If you want to see it, you can see us getting our new car and that was so fun and so exciting and it just was such an accomplishment it just felt so good after all of those months of saving and talking about it to finally do it it just felt so awesome of course we had regular life stuff you know hanging out with friends work stuff i had a work trip that i went on we impulsively decided to get a puppy this month as well as you've also may have seen i have a video about that if you want to see the video about us getting a puppy really what happened is my grandma found out about this breeder that bred long-haired dachshunds which is what we were looking for and she had one little puppy left and so we were just sitting there like, are we going to do this? Are we going to get this last puppy from this litter? And I just said, YOLO, we should get this puppy. So we had been talking about it, but we didn't prepare as much as I would have liked. So we literally scrambled in one week, bought all the supplies, did all the research, talked to all the people, and scrambled to get our little guy. So we have Winston now and he is so great. It's been a hard adjustment, but we do love him so much. He's so cute. I did not think that both of these things would happen in the month of June, but here we are. So that is kind of my recap of June. This is what my June spread looks like. And now this planner from Target is done. So she's going away. I got a new planner. I got the Dream Daily Planner, so if you don't know about this brand, it is by Hannah Ashton. She's on YouTube and TikTok, Instagram, all things, and she has a planner brand called Dream Daily, and I've been following her for a little bit, so since I was in the market, I thought now is the time to get a new planner. So it's really cool. I'll show you some of the spreads. First, we have the six-month goals and reflection spread. So this is just long-term planning, goal setting, all of that. Then we have monthly planning. I'll show you a month that I don't have a lot yet. So like September, this is what September looks like of the monthly planning. I love the tabs on the bottom, the bills to pay, appointments to make, books, movie, TV, notes, and then the weekly to-dos on the side. That's my favorite part about it. So that's what that looks like. And then after, before and after every month, actually, there's a monthly goals page and a monthly reflections page. So you can fill that out just so you're on track for the month. And then the rest of the planner is these daily pages, which I have been using a ton. This actually worked out really well for me because now that we have a puppy, he is on a schedule. So he naps for two hours and he, he's awake for one hour and that's kind of how the schedule goes. So with this scheduling column here, I'm able to put all of the hours of the day that I'm awake and then I can put 
nap here's what i'm gonna do when he naps up here's what i'm gonna do when he's up and this has actually worked out perfect for me so it's good timing that i got this planner and i love it so what we're gonna do i'm gonna go sit probably at a table or my desk and we are going to fill out the monthly goals for july page i'm gonna fill out the july tabs so the appointment snake bills to pay those tabs and then i will share all of that with you <music> a brief intermission because the puppy woke up so i was chasing him around that's why i'm a little glossy <laughs> but let's look at the monthly goals spread for my big goals i want to adjust to the puppy lifestyle i've said this in many videos but i've had a hard time so that kind of coincides with the amount of hours i want to work during the week i am hourly so i do need to work a certain amount and it has been really hard getting my hours in with the puppies. Make extra income through surveys. There's a website I use for surveys and I get some extra money from that. For the mini goals, the first few are house projects. Then we have a things to buy list. What this is, is it's just things that we say throughout our life like, oh, we should buy that or Winston needs this or something like that. You know when you say those things and then you forget about them? We have a things to buy list, so I just need to fill it out and make sure that we both have it, me and my husband, because then if one, if somebody wants to make a purchase of something, they can see, oh, I wanna buy this, but Hannah needs to buy this for Winston or something like that. I have a freelancer website, I need to update, and then I want to finish Iron Flame for the love of God. I've been reading it forever. So action steps for all of these goals. I need to plan each day the night before and I have been doing that with Winston being here so far. So just keeping that up. Read before bed to finish the book, obviously. Communicate the house projects with Alec ahead of time. I have to do this because he plays pickleball like almost every day. So I have to communicate it ahead of time so that he can plan when his pickleball time is gonna be. And then write down things we need to buy as soon as we think of them. I already explained, that's kind of how that works. For projects, I have to edit some photos for my work habits, drink more water, work out four to five times a week. I already do this, but just keeping that up. Read before bed and meal plan, so pretty easy. So this is my July spread. I've explained this before in my past reset videos. The colors are the different phases of my cycle so that I know, oh, this is when I'm going to have my period, so I should be more low-key. That's kind of how I know that stuff. So that's what the colors are for. I already have some dates on here, important things. On the side, I have workouts I'm going to do that week. Again, this is cycle synced so I want to do 
workouts that are more low-key when I'm feeling low-key and high intensity when I'm feeling energetic. The weekly to-dos on the side, I just kind of broke down all of those mini projects into the weekly to-dos, so that's that. Bills to pay, that's pretty self-explanatory. Appointments to make, Alec needs a dentist appointment, we need to do a vet appointment, I think. Books, movies, and TV, obviously are in flame, and then I started Meet Me at the Lake, so I want to finish that. Start with Why is my book club book, and book club is at the end of the month, so I need to finish that. TV shows, I want to finish Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and I'm re-watching New Girl, so I'll be watching those. And then Alec and I started Captain America, but we need to finish it. Felt fitting for the holiday. Alec just texted me, sorry. <laughs> so in my last vlog, I don't know which one it was, but I will figure that out. I already talked about my books that I'm reading right now and explain all those. So I'm not gonna do a content corner with books in it because I kind of explained that in this planner. So we'll skip that part. And that's pretty much the end of my planning for the new month. So I will put in a few clips of our 4th of July celebration since obviously that's what today is. Doesn't Winston look so handsome? This guy's bandana. Yeah. In and out. Doesn't look so handsome in his firing shirt. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel. Let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me because I love to do this for you. And I'll see you whenever I see you next. Bye guys.